Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. And ooh, we're just going to jump right in. Here's a little velvet choker. Velvet choker. Remember when everybody had to have one of these in the 70s? I remember that. Oh, hey. All right, let's grab some things that are easier to grab. These guys are amazingly cute. They go together. This one's kind of a floral. It's got coral, coral, hot pink, and like a blush pink. And this has got the coral and pink in a zebra. Or not zebra. Uh, we call it a giraffe pattern. And they both have the same stamp. If I can read the stamp, I don't think I can, honestly. I think it's so muddy that it's near impossible to read. No, it's just a flaw. No, it looks like it might have been wanting to be a stamp right here on both of them. It's in the same spot on both. You see where I mean? Ah. Of course you don't. There we go. There it is there. And then there it is there. So ah. let me look at this one. Maybe it's clearer. Now I haven't a clue who these are. But they're really cool. And they're a pair, which is always nice. One on each side. I like the color combo as well. Here's one of these guys. Steel. Uh, oh, bird's freaking out. With the bars on the ends. Those are cool. I like those. Got a lot of bracelets in this, this one. This has uh, rhinestones and... like that satiny cord and it's got blue and peach and purple and tan and that's really cool with the rhinestones up in the center I don't generally like that kind of thing but that's different woven kind of cool <clears throat> Here's another one of these kind with a lizard on it. That lizard charm is awesome. <laughs> Cute. Oh, there's a very large, very resin plastic druzy. Wow, that's cool. But it is not connected to anything, so it's going in the craft closet. Crafty lot. Oh, at you. You're 19 what? It's definitely 42,000. Alright. Oh my. So many. Uh, everything is still. Here's, the, here's another one of those ones that has the uh, thing in it that you put your... This one's still in the package. I have two of these. <laughs> I've probably gotten way more than those, that, too. Here's, oh, here's a pretty angel. Angel charm. Still on the card. Silver plated. Adjustable. Nice. Here's a pair of what? No. Primavera Ferracita. So, I don't know what these things on the red and white silk are. Little weird things. Here's one of these. I think it's a... Ah! One moment. Really? What's your problem? Stop it. You're being dark now, okay? Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, tripping. Tripping over stuff. Ugh. I just got a 
I just got a guillotine cutter for my uh, shipping labels because I don't I don't buy this, the ones that are sticky. I just print them on paper. And I got me a guillotine paper cutter. Remember, like you had in school, like they had in the schools. I love those things. So I got that so that I can trim down my printed uh, um 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 shipping labels. When I can do shipping labels, that is. <laughs> PayPal's still weird. Well, now, here's the thing. It may have already been resolved because I'm I'm recording ahead of time. <laughs> but this is a neat one. We've had a couple of, um, what do you call them? Ankle bracelets in this batch. What are you? You're strange. Big giant. I think this is a hand done one. Yeah, maybe. Because it's got some strange little bits and pieces on it. Or it's some high end designer that makes weird things. I don't see a tag, so I'm going to guess. Handmade, hit reconstructed from other jewelry. It has this black chain. It has a piece of green uh, cup chain with these green stones and then some bronze and it is wrapped here with faux suede right here and then wrapped onto the faux suede are these three little three little charms a brass one a black one and then this one that's got some overlay and a bead in the front. That's diff different, really different. Artistic, artistic. Here's a pair of these little green Indian bracelets. One's a little bit wonky. These broke. Oh, that's a shame. We're just gonna pitch them, I guess. Pitch it, as my mother used to say. Pitch it. First issue. A Liz Claiborne Company. 1120. Save 20%. This is it. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I hate when I do that. It's, um, yeah. Not a script, but it is Liz, and it is on, well, I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe somebody put something else on there. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, this is a jujube. Jujube. I never heard of them, and I don't know what this is a piece of. Oh, it had a string through it, apparently. Here's another belt. Another belt. One of these ones with this old fashioned -y hook on it. <laughs> so yeah, that'll go in a craft box. You can use those rings for something, I guess. This is a little tiny something. It's one of these with all the we have first place. We have a four leaf clover. We have a tiny shiny heart. And then we have a cheerleader. So it's a cheerleading bracelet. With some extra oomph. And look, there's number three. So we have a set of three of these knot bracelets, and they're real heavy and nice. And they're three across, so they're for a larger wrist. See how much room. Those are cool. 
Oh, this is all kind of lovely here. What have we here? This is a broken thing. La 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 la. Or it's not. Oh, it has this on one side and that on the other. And it's one of those ones that you can wear long or you can jerk it up to your neck. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm not sure how it was supposed to be, but it's a piece of something now, and we're going to put it into the craft loft. Here's a fun, oh, look at this chain. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. It does not have a name on it. It's black. Dare I? Dare I? Let's just do it on a corner here and see what we get. What? No way. No way is that what I think it is. Is that just filthy, dirty steel, or is that... I'm going to test that. Because... <laughs> wowie zowie. Oh, look at this little pendant. I think I know where this goes. There's a little tiny... Um... Oh, that's already got something on it. Or is that... Yeah. I have another little tiny uh, copper chain that I just pulled in the last video, I think, that this goes to, and I will match them up when I find it. Yeah, buddy. Here's another little, little tiny Claire's. Bracelet with plastic beads. Oh, here's another piece of that Alexis, I think. No? Yeah? Huh! Undo, 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 undo. Undo. I don't know what that is. Looks like a strawberry. There, this is not, this is a two strand with a Betsy Johnson, really? And it's wearing through to the copper, which is really sad. It's probably a Target, or not a Target, a Kohl's uh, Betsy Johnson. This is a busted earring. It goes into the craft loft. Here's one of these guys. It's a little pin that's American flag. I remember making these. Remember making these when you were a kid? Na, 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 na. Here's a little aluminum ring. It says sis on it. <laughs> broken thing. It's got an earring hook. Yeah, yeah. I do like this little glass bead though. It's beautiful. And that'll go in a craft lot. That'll go really nice with those red beads that I put in there the other day. Yeah, buddy. What have we here? This looks like a really strange little bracelet. I am unfamiliar with the mark. 
It does have a heart-shaped uh, clasp, but this is the mark. It has a bunch of little little things on it. I don't know. Is that another ankle bracelet? Yeah, it looks like it. Look like it. Oh, look, it's a little cactus with a Santa hat on and presents. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> That's an ornament, but <laughs> whatever. All right, we have a whole bunch to untangle. Ooh, that's really cool. And it's Kenneth Cole. <laughs> that's neat. I like it. <laughs> I was expecting that. That was quite eye grabbing. Hold on to your eyeballs. Alright, here's a little enamel on a flat chain, and I'm going to see if it has any names on it. It looks like an old Monet, but no, it's just a, it's a knockoff 70s, not 70s, 80s scribbly necklace. 80s was big into that scribble design thing. A lot of brooches like that came out then. Alright, now this is a piece of something. It's a half of a necklace, looks like. Now, do we have the other half of that necklace? It looks like we do, I think. Oi, oi. Um, oh, okay, so that's the center. I have it now. I understand now. That's pretty. We're going to have to fix that. Look, it's like this. Eh. That goes there. It's like that. So we will be repairing that. That's a really pretty one. The repair pile. I mean, there was a whole lot in this particular bin box that yeah, it was broken. It wasn't anything great, so it went in the craft lot. But there are several that I want to fix that are very easily fixed. I am wanting to get this out of there because it's gorgeous. And it has a tag on it that says JC. Who is JC? Of course, it's one I don't recognize. That's just crazy, but it's really pretty. Really pretty. You, are you part of it, or are you, you the one making the trouble, you yeah. know? Oh, almost got it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, you're part of it, or, ooh, no. That's a pretty little amethyst, I think. Could be lab created, I guess. Faux amethyst. Okay, now let's pull this out of here. There we go. And this one is, okay, it's through both. Got it. That's really pretty. Look at that. A rope chain. I think it's one of those um, heavily plated ones that wears like iron. Very cool. Emma. Okay. Here's 
there's a little bit of silver tongue. It's a little strawberry. And you cure it. I think that's a strawberry. And there's a hook. Hooky hooky through. How did that get through there? There. Little tiny strawberry. There. Here is another pair of pair set of those bangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. This time in silver tone. I just sold a pair of these in rose gold. I love these things. I think they're so easy. Grab and go. Put it on the little stand by your door and like, ah, oh, forgot my door. And you just throw that on and you're good to go. <laughs> and this is beautiful. And I might want to save it for that. Here's a fun one in all kinds of shades of whatever. Looks like we have some copper and some brushed silver tone and some pearls and some black and some gold tone. It's one of those, another one you can <laughs> put by your door. Oh, I forgot my jewelry. And there you got like six bracelets on. No problem. <laughs> Cute. Do, do, do. Oh, look. Tordy Phil. Made in Europe. Tordy Phil, that's what I said. <laughs> uh, I forgot the de. Oh, look, you can even see the uh, the elevators going up the outside. Cute! Or is that the steps? That's probably the steps, because the, uh, if I remember right, the elevator goes up the middle. <laughs> Cute! Alright, we have a little... Meat or no meat. Um, pork? On the salad? On the side. Okay. Um. Sauce, 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 sauce. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's dinner time and I'm running behind, so we're gonna get the bistro. There we go. It says bloom on it. It's one of those gigantic ball chain guys. There's another one of these little thingies. Yeah, hard to, oh my goodness, we're at 23. We're going to make it. We'll be there. We'll get there. Here's a bunch of puffy stuffs. A heart, a bow, a heart, a bow, a heart, a bow, a heart, a bow. Oh, wait. No, the heart's the last one. It's cute. And it had a tag on it saying who it belonged to. But that is gone. I'm going to guess Betsy Johnson. Like the other one was. Sent to watch over you. Guardian angel. A couple of guardian angels. There's uh, I must need one or something right now. Ooh, this pretty. Oh. Ooh, this looks very antique looking. It has a, an angel, another angel, a heart, some other little stuff, and it's got burgundy and peach. Oh, so pretty. And brass. And it's all in one piece. Yay! That makes me happy. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen one of these in a while. This is a blue coral necklace. Ooh, are you sterling? It might be. I'm going to test that because, uh, yeah, blue coral's pretty rare. 
Um, I know they used to dye it in the 70s and 80s, but uh, that is really cool. It's like a dusty blue, like a like a slate blue. It's not blue blue like you know. Take your eyes out, blue. Yeah, come on. Um, really? Wow. We're at 25. <laughs> and I can't get these untangled from this. So, it is a White House Black Market. So, we'll have to see if we can't work that out. Funky, funky. Funky monkey. Here's a little signet ring with nothing on it. Here's a little stars. Oh, isn't that cute? I like that. I think it's missing a bunch of stuff, though. All the stuff you like is. You know how it is. Here's a little. Oh. He goes on a rose gold chain. Um, it's a rose quartz. Either from an earring or it could be a pendant. I like that. That's a nice one. And speaking of nice ones. Gold tone with all of her stones are there. And she has a mark. She's a napier. Ooh. You know you like the napier. Here's a collar bar with a name on it. And the name is New, Lo New Lock. Patent number. And it locks. I don't know. I guess it locks. I don't know how these things work. <laughs> I'm a dork. I don't know. Here's a little flat gold tone herringbone, single chain, single bracelet chain. We have some of those. All right, now, this is the last thing, and it is absolutely gorgeous. If I can get it to un... <laughs> it's real heavy, too. So all of these beads are... Um, I'm believing that they're all glass. Looks like a Bulgarian for Christ's sakes. Oh, it's a pair. It's a pair. It's a pair. This one is the JC. And it's got these beautiful framed Beads. Oh, this might might be might be a keeper. And this one is the same sort of glass beads with multi colors. Oh, so pretty. Now let's see. Are they going to layer well? You know, I have to try it. Well, they will because. The frames hang just slightly inside the other one. Oh. Well, I need to find a piece of white paper, so that's going to be my photograph. I think. Anyway, that is the end of this here little box. So, oh, look at that. So pretty. Oh, gorgeous. All righty. I want to <clears throat> thank you all for being here. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. If you see something you can't live without, uh, leave a timestamp in the comments with the number of the item that you would like. 
You could also send me an email at the email in my description with that same information plus the title of the video and the date that it was posted. Um, so we can work out and I can find where your item is. Um, remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.